Today I'll be teaching you how to hack WordPress. WordPress is a content management system that allows you to very quickly be able to set up a website across the internet and have your different modules, pages, posts that you can create across the internet. Basically, it's a system that allows you to host websites. And if you do a quick search on how many websites run on WordPress, you can see right here, there are 1.98 billion total websites on the web. More than 835 million of these sites use WordPress. So yes, I'll teach you how to do penetration testing on WordPress sites. Now, before we get started, kids, remember, hacking is illegal. If you want to hack, remember to ask your mom for permission first. And if you get caught hacking, do not tell them you know who is Mr. Hackaloy. So when it comes to the architecture of things, we first have a target website that we're going after. So it could be internal facing or it could also be facing the internet. It doesn't matter. As long as it's running on WordPress, we are able to target it. Next up, we have your BFF, Mr. Hackaloy, who can be targeting the site, running different type of hacking techniques that are specific against the WordPress site. One, typically we want to enumerate different part of the pages. For example, we could be looking for admin pages. We could be looking for WP dash content, looking for plugins and so on. On. And once we have all of these details, what we can do now is to go ahead and search up the specific version of all of these different plugins as well as WordPress itself to look for exploits that we can use to directly target and break into the site. And for today's case, we'll be doing SQL injection attack as well as the ability to take complete control of the entire site. So watch to the end. So right in front of us, we have what press running so this is a website it could be a website from the internet it could be a website that you're hosting and testing it all or it could be just another internal system that you could be targeting so the first thing we want to do is to look for the WordPress version. So what you can do is you can go to the site itself, do a right click and click onto view page source. And from there you can go ahead and enter WordPress space and see if you could find the specific version of it. So in this case, if you zoom in a little more, you can see right here that we have a specific version. So in this case, we have the following of WordPress 5.3. The other two options also look for JavaScript as well as CSS file that could be indicating of its version. So what I can do now is go ahead and search in the page for .js question mark version equal so in this case you can see right here we have the following of version 5.3 and the other one for css file we can see right here too we have the css question mark version equal 5.3 and with that we can go over into a service like search exploit to look up for wordpress 5.3 and see what we get as a result from it so search exploit is a way for us to look for those available exploits that we could use as part of targeting the site so in this case you can see the following of wordpress so typically we're seeing plugin we could also see core user disclosure and all this different information that we could quickly use as part of targeting the site because it's been unpatched the other page is really big is the blue p slash plugins hit enter on this and right now you do not see any listing of all those plugins that's available against the site however what we can do now is to use a trick to test whether the plugin exists by entering the plugin itself into the uri for example over here i have wp file upload i clicked on it and you can see right here it states forbidden you don't have permission to access this resource however if I was to go ahead and enter wp-file-upload2, which is not a plugin, I hit enter on that, it states the following. The requested URL was not found on this server. So what does it mean? It means that there isn't such a plugin installed. The other example is here as well on WP advanced search. I hit enter on this. So once again, it states the following if forbidden. You don't have permission to access this resource. However, if I was to change it up to some other plugin name, so say for example, hackerloy plugin, I hit enter on that, not found. There isn't such a URL. So what we can do now is start targeting all these different common plugins as well as pages so that we can identify the structure of the site. So what I can do here is use a tool like DIR Buster to be able to help us target the site. All you got to do is go back over into the site, copy the URL, copy on that, paste it over here, and we have the number of threads and all this information. What's most important is the file with list of directories of files. So go ahead and click browse. And with that, we can go over into USR. Let's head back over into root into usr share followed by word list hit enter on that and we have dir buster clicked on that and we can use something like a directory list small so all of this are already available out of the box with column linux double clicked on that and we can go ahead and click start and we'll be trying to find out all these different parts of the site that has all these pages plugins and so on and as we're running the attack you can see 
the list of view directories we have info.php which is very juicy information we have wp-contentindex.php teams uploads wp login and so on so all this are critical information for us as part of enumerating the site and with the result i can hit over into say slash info.php hit enter on that and boom this gives us incredibly important information like the php version and as we scroll down further we can see all these different details that can help us target a site more tightly now the even better part is we have specific tools that we can use to target wordpress site and it's called wp scan and all i got to do is enter wp scan dash dash url followed by the target site and that's all and once you're ready go ahead and hit enter on that and we'll begin scanning the site looking up for all this different information that we were trying to do earlier but more specifically targeted towards wordpress and we got really good information so if i scroll all the way back to the top trying to understand the findings so we have interesting findings here so we have the server apache php we have xml rpc that's enabled that we can target we have the wordpress readme file we have the w crone and so on so all this are the different identification of the version different identification of possibly plugins on the site like for example we have, for example with social warfare we have the wp event search and it's telling us that the version is out of date and we can target them directly however there's something even better is that we can automatically use the wp scan api token that can help us match all these plugin versions to available exploits that we can use so say for example instead of me entering search exploit for wp file dash upload i hit enter on this no results or i enter say wp wordpress file upload or right, trying to find for a specific version and so on so you can see here that i've already taken my api token i'm ready to hit the site so go ahead and hit enter on this and now we're scanning we're doing the same scan however we are saving precious time now by having the matching against those exploit database automatically for those plugin versions for any other things on the wordpress site boom done the scan completed and we can scroll all the way back up again and as we're scrolling up we can see all this different information like wordpress file upload author plus start cross-site scripting and so on so this helps us narrow down on the specific exploits that we can use so we can send those malicious payload against the target site and for today i'll be teaching you wp advanced search unauthenticated sql injection attack and we are at exploitus.com right here and we have the exploit for wp advanced search and we can see right here we have get wp content plugins and we're targeting a class.inc auto completion and of course we have the following q equal admin wp auto suggest and this is the injection point so the great thing is if you saw from the earlier tutorial we could directly use sql injection attack to target this part of the site so what i'll do right here is to go ahead and enter verb suite open this up launch it and what i can see right here is we're burp suite launching and we have the community edition go ahead and click next click start burp and once we have that we'll be able to start the proxy and begin intercepting all of these requests so if i hit back over here i'll just go ahead and click onto the site we go on the proxy tab we have an example of the request i do a right click on this i send over the repeater and from repeater i had to change things up a little bit so i hit back over to exploit this and what we want to do now is to change the get uri so in this case this is the one that we'll be using i can go ahead and copy this head back over into burp suite where i'll go ahead and paste it over and you can see right here this is the example of wp content and so on and so forth and what i can do is i can change this over to star so that sql map which is our automatic sql injection tool can target this part of the site in fact we can even test it right here so you can see the following of asterisk and type equal a and e equal a i click send on this it states the following you have an error in a sql syntax check the manual that corresponds to your mysql server and so on so you can see right here this is an example of a vulnerability take it to the next level i've saved this into a file that we can then use sql map our automatic sql injection tool to target the site to automatically pull out those information from the site you can see right here with sql map dash our wordpress sql i target hit enter on this custom injection marker file yes we want to process it and boom it looks like the backend dbms is my sql do you want to skip task payloads yes for the remaining tasks do you want to include all tasks enter yes for that and right now we are gaining access to the backend system we are in we've gotten through the vulnerability of the sql injection attack
And right here, we're scanning. We're running all these automatic queries, and it makes dumping out the information as well as the database significantly easier through this automation. There you go, URI parameter one is vulnerable. Do you want to keep testing the audits? Let's enter no for that. And right here, we can go to the advanced query functions of SQL map. Now we can enter the following of dash dash DBS to look for all those available databases and the process for it. And you can see right here, and with the following of five databases, information schema, MySQL, performance schema, SYS and WordPress. Let's go ahead and target the WordPress database. Now we'll switch things up a little and we're entering dash D to target the WordPress database. And we want to dump out all of those tables. Let's hit enter on that. Enter yes. And right here, we can see that the, all these are the different tables that we can go after. We have 19 of those tables. And let's go ahead and target the blue P underscore users and see what we get. So right here, we are targeting the blue P users table and we want to dump everything out of the table. Enter yes for that. And right here, we are gathering all of those information. It even states the following. Do you want to store hashes to a temporary file for eventual processing? Enter no for that. Do you want to crack them via dictionary based attack? Let's try it. Hit enter on that. Common suffixes, enter no for this. Let's see whether we can get any hit for that. And boom, you can see right here, we get the following. We got the user admin and we got its password of admin too. So heading back to the site, I can go ahead and to slash WP dash login, hit enter on this because this is the default login page for WordPress, enter admin, admin, click login and boom, we're in. We've gotten access into the site. And heading over into the installed plugins, you can see right here we have infinite WP client. And this also has a significant critical vulnerability that we can target. And what's really cool right here, we have the payload that we can use. So we have the following of IWP action at site params user admin. So what we can do here now is to go ahead and encode this into base64. And we're going to use this to send to a specific part of the site allowing us to gain administrative access to the site. You can see right here, I've logged out of the site. And what I can do is I can go to the top right corner. I click under, say, Burp Suite to be our interceptor. I click onto the site again. I go back to Burp Suite under the proxy tab. What I can do now is go ahead and forward this. And this may be the request. Okay, let me just go ahead and click on it one more time. And now we have interception. So what I can do here now is to go ahead and target this with a specific exploit against the plugin. Here right at the bottom, we got a payload. And what I can do is change the HTTP method. And once we're ready, go ahead and click forward. Go back over into the site right here. You can see some things have changed up a little bit. What I can do now is go to the top right corner, click under disable. And I hit enter one more time onto the site. And you can see right here, top right corner, we have now gotten administrative access even without the password. I know this is mind blowing. And with great power comes great responsibility. So if you want to learn even more of this, smash the like button, turn on notification to the YouTube channel here so that you can be kept abreast whenever you get hacked. Sorry, I mean, whenever there's a new hacking tutorial for you.